At seven o'clock, call the meeting, do you take the roll? Number two, uh, approval of a Something consent hidden. agenda. All the following items which concern reports and items of routine nature normally approved at board meetings will be approved by one vote unless any board members desires to have a separate vote on or any of all these items. The consent agenda consists of a discussion, consideration, and the approval of the following A through K. Well, if you want to go real quick just um, to the page where we have all the balances. Um, Maybe the last page of the whole report. Right there. Yeah, you can kind of see where we are um, with the general fund, with the child nutrition, and with the building fund. Very last page uh, in your in your binder, or oh, in, in the, the back of that, probably right there. This one here. Well, no, I think back it's in your binder. Here. It's in your binder. Oh my gosh! Make this work. Okay. Sorry. Should have put them all in the binder. Can I borrow that? Yeah. Do, you, do you have an extra one? That's why I brought them. You, you, um, you know, we are, we are uh, <coughs> beyond where we were at this time last year in every account. Um, we're, you know, we've done a lot this year with um, some spending of things that aren't normal spending for every year. You know, next year we won't be buying a tractor. We won't be buying a gator. We won't be buying. There's a lot of things that we purchased this year that are kind of one-time items, aren't reoccurring costs. So um, I think I kind of really quickly did the math today, and we're going to be um, a little above where we were last year with carryover um, after we finished it all out. But we've got some things to do this summer. Um, we need to um, get do some things in the kitchen for. Um, <coughs> that Bennett Hood business and get that other stove in there. So we're um, financially, if you have any questions about any of the spending that's happened and on any of the sheets, just let me know. If I can't answer it, Judy can. Um, activity report, there's a, I'm gonna kind of let her tell you what happened. Um, there was just a little bit of a needing to, to, to fix a kind of a mistake that was made that was just, it was kind of clerical. Yeah. Um, there was a purchase order request turned in for a uh, little Caesars fundraising stuff, and it was supposed to be for FCCLA. And Kendra opened it out in the junior class because it was by Heather, and Heather's been doing a lot of prom stuff on the junior high class or the junior class. And so when she went in to fix it, most of her she tried to fix it, you know, by herself, which is wonderful. But instead of doing um, an adjustment, she did a transfer. And transfers have to be board approved. So everybody needed to know that it was just a simple mistake, and then she took the money out of the SCCLA and put it back in the junior class. So, and then so we talked to the computer people, and they said, "Be sure to get on board agenda right away." And so that's what that is—that indirect. Is that that four forty four forty nine thirty five? I didn't look at the amount. I don't know how much it was. Okay. It's right there. Oh, it'd be twenty nine forty. Yeah, that sounds about right. Probably. Yeah, twenty nine forty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, everything's going fine. We're we're um, holding steady. You know, knowing that we're moving into unknown times. But you know, we're just talking about the price per barrel is going up, and I've really been um, pleased that the uh, gross production has is leveled off and. The, the most I'm seeing is a, you know, maybe a $20,000 fluctuation in it, which when it first came on, it was, you know, lots of thousands of dollars fluctuation in the wrong way. So um, positive about that. You know, those are good things to see that, you know, we can maybe count on our, our gross production being where it is right now and not going down a lot more. So we'll look at, this summer I'll look at things like, um, what, what kind of um, uh, cut we're going to take because Lariat closed and those kind of things right. and kind of get an idea of what our local money will be for next year and um, I think we'll I think we'll just carry on and be, be fine so on this uh, yeah, baseball account and the softball account mm -hmm. that that 3265 <coughs> that it was for us to for them to go there. Yep. 
And then the receipt, we, we yep. did they receive the 1950? They are still able They're to still sell. Collect. Okay. And so they have not yet, but we did have a discussion about that. that okay. He was a little behind that eight ball with that fundraiser, and that might not be. I think Mr. Hickman also had a discussion with him about maybe that's not, let's not go there again. Let's go someplace else that will be equally, but not maybe cost us that much. Right. So um, he's had a couple of discussions about that. Now, the, the, the softball, why is that? What is, is that? It, it's 5063 Did they get new uniforms or something? Um. Tell me, is that an expenditure or uh -huh. what they've got? Yeah, it's an expenditure. They expended $5,000. Uh -huh. um, I bet. Did she give you a check register, Tony? <clears throat> On the back of it. That doesn't sound. It should be stable to that summary report. Let me look. We go down through that and see what it's putting my software. I think I left that on my desk. That might be good. Actually. Oh, okay. like uniforms and stuff. Yeah, fast okay. pitch stuff. Yeah, they did. Headwear. Okay. I just saw that big number. That's the one yeah. we were talking about. Okay. I see. <coughs> oh, there it is now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Do That's you, okay. Do you have and we else we will have some of those big ones because we've started up, you know, started something right. and because we've got the complex, there's been equipment that we've bought and and sometimes I'm really um, looking at their activity accounts really making a judgment on can you pay for it or do we need to pay for it or how do we need to do that so okay sometimes it'll be a an activity and sometimes it would be a change. and then the elementary fundraiser Miss Ruth is gonna sell the dollar candy bars the dollar chocolate Raise some money to help with our AR celebration to do to motivate kids to read more and maybe get your flavor. Well, that's not something we need to make a new account for. No, it's going to be fundraisers. Yeah. That's already going to be Yeah, I think it's going into Mallory's account, isn't it? Is it going into <coughs> PE? Where, where's that money? Where are you putting that money? AR. Okay. Anybody else have any questions or anything they need to add, A through K? Members made the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Tony, second. Judy? Little Phil? Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yes. Keller? Yes. Willard? Yes. Number three, vote to approve or disapprove statutory waiver exemption application to have our parent-teacher conferences fall into regular school day for the 16th, 17th school year. Just housekeeping so that we do it every year. Have to send the um, deregulation into the state department and just, I like to do it early. Amber's made the motion. Second. Jeff, second. <coughs> Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yes. Heller? Yes. Wilhite? Yes. Number four, vote to approve or not to approve the HB 1864 method, where Cherokee Public Schools documents 1,080 hours of school instead of the traditional <coughs> method of 180 days for the 16-17 school year. And that's, you know, that's the bill that it enables schools to go four days a week if they needed to because of finances. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't, but um, we still are going to go by the hours because we have weather. It makes it a whole lot easier for us to uh, not have to make up days because mm -hmm. we still have hours. What was the benefit of having the, uh, is there a benefit of having it like it was? I just was curious. Like the go 180 days? Yeah, the, the days instead of the hours. What's the, some of the pros and cons of that? I think the 180 days, you could probably make a case for, um, I don't really want to say that. I was going to say more days in school, but, but we, we still go the same amount of time. We're not like shrinking our school year. We're, we're right. still going the middle of August to the middle of May. And a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll shrink their school year and they'll lose days, which it, 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 right now it's a financial decision for a lot of schools. But um, 
you know, there's a, there's a lot of research behind going year-round school. So it kind of puts that option on the table if we, you know, if we need to do it. And I, I, the benefits to the hours really outweigh the benefits to the days, just in flexibility with weather alone. And then just um, flexibility is the most um, important thing with that, that particular um, method of, of going school days. Okay. Motion approved. <coughs> Just made a motion. <coughs> All second. Judy. Littlefield. Yes. Allison. Yes. White. Yes. Heller. Yes. White. Yes. Number five, proposed executive session to discuss the employment status of certified teachers on regular contract for the school year 1617 so that the board can return to open session and vote to employ or not employ the certified teachers on regular contracts or temporary contracts for the school year 14-15. This executive session permitted by 25 OS 307-B1 and to discuss the purchase of real property 25 OS 307-B3. Second. Members made the motion. TJ second. Judy. Lowfield. Yes. Allison. Yes. Quiet. Yes. Seven. Yes. Yes. Seven eleven. Number seven, uh, statement of minutes. Make a motion to return back into open session. And Second. It's 836, Okay. Number eight, vote to purchase. What's that? Yeah, we vote on return. Oh, I thought we did. You made a motion. Oh, okay. I second it. Sorry. I made the motion. Jeff second. Judy. Okay. Little Phil? Yes. Allison? Yes. Quiet? Yes. Heller? Yes. Why? Yes. I'll sleep at the wheel there. <laughs> okay. During executive session, we discussed the employment status of certified teachers on regular contract for the school year 2016-17 so that we can return to open session to vote to employ or not employ said certified teachers. Okay, now we're number eight. There you go. Vote to purchase or not to purchase any properties discussed in executive session pending an appraisal. I make a motion to purchase properties A, B, and C pending appraisal. Second. Members made the motion. TJ second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yes. Heller? Yes. Why? Yes. Number nine, uh, no action. Uh, number 10, vote to employ or not to employ certified staff for the 16-17 school year. See attachment A. I make a motion. Tony's made a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. What is the motion? To employ motion to employ. Staff. To employ certified staff uh, listed mm -hmm. on attachment A. Who made the motion? Tony. Tony made the yeah. motion. I'll TJ second. second. Longfield? Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yeah. Heller? Yes. Why? Yes. Number 11, principal's report. We started testing today in elementary, so we're in full swing for the next three weeks. Oh, wow. Good. Mm -hmm. Some of our small groups 
tested today. Third grade does their reading test tomorrow, next day. Next week there's a couple days at seven through school. Wow. It's hard to find enough monitors, right here. rooms, so no spare closet or anything. Put <laughs> people in. Are you and field trips at the end of the month? And elementary music concert. It's busy, busy. Busy, busy. Who do we have coming to the track? Anybody new? Burlington and Medford. Timberlake. Timberlake. And that was So there will be four schools here for that? Hmm. Everything's, everything's going quickly. <laughs> okay. Reporter, do you have a new sign? Uh, digital sign. LED suite. Yeah. We've got a few repairs we'd like to get done this summer. Yeah. Some, some shelving. Construction shelving. Minor things. Yep. Maybe a little decorating, I guess. Interior decorating. <laughs> and we also we've, we've also been talking about some awnings for uh, around the school for kids' for movements and things. Testing today. Uh, Mr. Jordan's behind all that over here. Uh, the track is in full swing, five through twelve. We posted several meets. We're learning the process. I think we're getting the kinks worked out. We did find out we would be hosting a regional uh, April 30th, it's last Saturday in April. So that's exciting. We bring guests anywhere from 30 to 34 different towns to Cherokee that day. That's good for everybody. Softball, baseball districts is coming up. Uh, so that's winding down. FFA activities just continues to grow. State convention is the final week in April. We have several kids getting honored there. Uh, they're receiving awards. So we've got a lot of kids really performing well. FCCLA state competition, we have a first place, two second, and a third at state. So. Uh, Heather's doing a great job, the kids are, that program continues to grow. Speech and debate, state runner up this last weekend uh, for the second year in a row. Uh, also state academic champions, so they did extremely well. And basically I'm just bragging about our greater kids and sponsors are doing Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. 10 and 12. And Super Chad is, was in Laverne today, so he's probably crashed out somewhere. So, but uh, superintendent's report, um, you know, we're just busy getting to the end of the year, and I kind of was talking a little bit about it earlier. Some of the things that you know, I'm really, really excited that we've done for kids this year, um, and and many more to come. So, um, gosh, it's uh, it's been a fast year but it's been fast mm -hmm. Tell me that. other than that we're just moving towards uh, uh, closing the year down um, Jenny and I and Amantha are working hard to make sure that we are closed down on the 30th of June so that we will be ready for to open back up J July 1 and uh, put some things in place some deadlines in place to stop taking purchase orders so that we could um, get our spending um, regulated so that at the end we we know where we are um, we've got a lot of um, a lot of hard work a lot of hours those ladies put in so and once again I can't tell you how much I appreciate them I think Judy lives here actually she she's here all the time <laughs> yeah really and the principals have done a great job um, you know we've had several track meets um, live and learn and trial and error and everything's gone well and uh, worked out the things that didn't and um, it's just um, really nice to watch those kids run on that track 
and it's going to be really awesome to watch them play football on that field and play baseball and softball. So definitely, definitely worth the 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 work and the and the people believing in it in our town and passing that. So. What kind of advertisements we are, is the school going to have for the regional track meet? I mean, because we you got to let the community know that there's going to be, people like, in. you know, yeah. we're going to double in size like that. You know, I um, I go to like tomorrow. I'll go to Main Street and I'll let Main Street board know, and then I go to Rotary and then I go to Lions. So if each organization, mm -hmm. I kind of give a little update. Um, more, sometimes more than others of what's going on so it kind of gets out that way we we can do an all call I mean that's easy just to say regional track meet will be um, so all the parents get it we, we can it the put it on the website I mean um, I try to put it in everything we can. yeah maybe uh, Kyle in the papers will you know uh, put it out there that we're going to be doing um, having a regional track meet so just it is, it is nice for our town, mm -hmm. and it is nice for them to be prepared for that, too. <laughs> right. Businesses yeah, if you're a business, you want to... You would like to know yeah, that. But yeah. maybe not every business knows what a regional track meet is. Mm -hmm. And, well, obviously, we haven't held one here in... Ever. Ever. Is this our first one, really? I would That's exciting. That. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've got Cinder Track. That, yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine a regional... I don't know yeah, maybe when one. every track had a dirt track, and maybe <laughs> back when Cinder was a thing, we didn't have one. So I wasn't born then. So. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Call me Rodney, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dangerfield. <laughs> <laughs> well, number, th number thirteen, new business. There is no new business. Okay, number fourteen. Motion. Second. Hammers made the motion. Oh, yeah, we're getting good on that. Second. second. Little Phil. Yes. Allison. Yes. White. Yes. Heller. Yes. Little Hyatt. Yes. Fine. <laughs> 45. <laughs>